This is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 1. And in this lesson, we're learning that area is a concept that is found in plain figures. All right. So what they mean by that is in this lesson, it's a real intro uh, to the concept of area, meaning area is something that you find in um, two-dimensional figures. And in general, we're going to be looking for the number of squares square tiles, and if those don't look like squares, they're supposed to be looking like squares, and the number of squares that are needed to completely fill that um, two-dimensional area, that plane figure. Um, and that's it. This is a real rough introduction, so there's not um, a standard algorithm that we expect our students to learn yet. So in this problem, it says Magnus covers the same shape with triangles, rhombuses, and trapezoids. Okay, and then and that's basically what all of these are are asking us about. And um, step one or step A or problem A, how many triangles will it take to cover the shape? So the idea would be we're going to uh, imagine roughly how many triangles would it take to fill in this entire figure and as I see it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 12 triangles and then we're asked well how many rhombuses will it take to cover the shape and we can continue that line of thinking that just let's cover it and I can see that it's 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. You know, and that's not really all that surprising because if you think about it, <clears throat> we had 12 triangles up here. It takes two triangles, one here and one here, to make a rhombus. So 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. So that's not a, you know, kind of fun. Some of your students might see that. And then the last one, Magnus's, Magnus notices that three triangles from part A makes one trapezoid. How many trapezoids will it take to cover the shape? So the idea is we're going to peek way back up here, and we're going to notice that it takes three triangles to create a trapezoid. Right there. And we want to know how many trapezoids does it take to fill in or to cover this shape. And we could, if we wanted to, we could try our best to draw that. Mm, let's see. How does that look? That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. It's one way to do it. Uh, we could go up here and use this existing shape. That's a little bit easier, isn't it? There's, there's our four shapes. So you can see the trapezoids, one, two, three, four. That's another way to do it. And then one last way to do it would be to say, well, we know that the entire shape is 12 triangles. It takes three triangles to make a trapezoid, so 12 divided by three is four trapezoids. So we have a couple of ways that we could do that one. And in the last slide for this video, um, We've got Angela. She uses squares to find the area of a rectangle. So here's our rectangle right here. And um, right here's our rectangle. And we're supposed to figure out how many squares did she use to cover the rectangle. So a couple of ways we could do that. We could count. One, um, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one way to do it is twelve. Uh, is to count. Another way to do it is to notice that we've got four, four rows and three columns. Um, so we could do four times three equals twelve squares. And so the question is, this last question, what is the area of the rectangle in square units? And so the answer is twelve square units. Now students, and especially in third grade, they're old enough to start learning how to do this. This little U with a 2 stands for units squared or squared units. 
And uh, that's good. Even if they don't quite understand exponents and all that sort of stuff, they can at least learn the lingo. And that is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 1.